When I bought this Hobart Handler 140 a few months ago, I knew I'd be in the market for a welding cart. When I got to looking, I knew I didn't want to spend upwards of $200 on one, even if it was from Northern Tool or Harbor Freight. And that's how I came up with the idea for the $10 welding cart. Now your mileage may vary a little bit on the cost, but you should be able to build one a heck of a lot cheaper than you can to buy one. To start with, on the frame, I found two steel angle iron bed frames just laying around my house. I measured them out and cut them up. As you can see, the cart extends off the back behind the welder a little bit. And that's because I'm currently using the welder in, as a flux core welder. I don't have a tank yet. But if I, ever, if I ever get a MIG tank, I can simply add a chain to each side and stand the tank right up here. I measured it to make sure that the tank will fit. The next thing you'll see is where the gun and the power cord are hanging. Now these metal pieces were actually part of the bed frames. They were the four corners. So I simply welded them right onto the rest of the cart. And these plastic things are what keep the bed legs from digging into the carpet. So I just hammered them back on and spray painted them black. And they work great for keeping the cords on. Next thing, next important aspect of a welding cart is storage. For that, I went to the local Goodwill. And they just happened to have a brand new file cabinet that was originally $30, but I only paid $2 for it. It's perfect size. It's got two drawers up top. You can keep your hammer and brushes and other accessories. Down in the bottom drawer, got helmet, gloves, and a long sleeve shirt. Even has a lock. Now, that is attached simply with two L brackets, some sheet metal screws on the top, and just some normal screws on the bottom going into just some scrap plywood right here, right here and the welder sitting on another piece. Finally on the bottom, this was the most most monetary investment of the whole thing, were four Harbor Freight casters with brakes. I believe they were on sale for $1.49 each and that's without any special membership for whatever they have over there. Now there are three things I wish I'd done differently on this welder. First one is to add a handle. Because it's no big deal to just wheel the, wheel the whole thing around using the handle on top of the welder. Or to just use these little things here like handlebars. But I might add on a handle here at some point so it's a little easier for maneuvering. The second thing relates to the wheels. I didn't have the time or the patience to drill the holes and properly mount the wheels. So I just ground off the galvanized coating, held my breath, and welded them on. It seemed like a good idea at the time, but if one of them ever gets a chunk taken out of them, it's going to be a big pain to take them back off. So if I were to do that again, I'd probably do it right and just attach the nails with nuts and bolts. The third thing is that I would have followed the old adage and measured twice and cut once because I built this, built the cart around the filing cabinet, and then I realized that I built it so low that I couldn't actually get the filing cabinet out if I ever needed to work on it or do anything to it. So I ended up having to grind off a good bit of this metal so it would slide out because I couldn't get it out and that was annoying. But other than those three things, I'd say this cart's just about perfect. Now if you obviously have a bigger welder, you'll want to beef it up a little bit. But I think this is a whole lot better than a cart that you could have bought, not only because it was cheaper, but also because it gave me the opportunity to get used to using my new welder. So if you have a cart or have any cart ideas, be sure to share them so we can all see. Thanks for watching.